Yeah, right, so I wasn't prepared for that part. Let's do it like this. We're going to get everything on record, man. Uh, Real Life Street Stars, uh, we have... Uh, I can't even put the adjective in front of your name uh, as far as uh, we don't whistleblower, truth teller. Vo- I'll let you give your own adjectives, but we have Jaguar Wright, who technically, as of this moment, people are calling Wright, uh, making her first exclusive, exclusive uh, response to the hammer or, you know, it coming down on Diddy, Sean Combs, the Diddy. Uh, Puff Daddy, all the monikers he has, it's come down on him. Jaguar, it's been 304 days since Cassie's lawsuit hit the internet. 304 days that we brought you in and you start speaking on what's to come, what's to come, what's to come, and you said it. They could go back and watch it and see that you mentioned, oh, it's coming down. Give it two months. Give it three. Actually, give it about nine months. Look, We're looking around September is what you said. Everyone would ask, how do you know? How, how did she know? How did she know? And now we have you here with what you said come to pass. Again. What are your, what are your thoughts, please? I want my perp walk. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like Lil Wayne right now. I feel like I'm getting cheated. I want the perk walk. I want the twisty ties. I want him on the ground. I want people putting his head into the car. I want that. That's what they did to the kids. Yeah, there's never been an image of uh, Diddy in handcuffs. No, we now. need that. We need that. I need that perk walk. So as I keep reaching out to victims, I can let them know it's safe to come outside. So let me ask you, Jag. Um, Diddy was, uh, and we're gonna go through this whole thing real quick. Jaguar but... warned y'all. That's what they say on the yeah, yeah. associate. They got like thirteen thousand people or so over there now. Yeah. Uh, and they Diddy... was watching me on TikTok. They was telling me in the chat, "Don't cry, Jag." Wow. How is the Associated Press commentating on what I'm doing in my TikTok? No. Uh, uh, listen, I was on Academics page. And everyone's typing in Jaguar right was right. Jag, he's he's trying to say, hey, listen, I I, I hear y'all, but they're letting him know. <laughs> go back and listen to Jaguar right. Now you have to go watch everything she said. Yeah, on the blue couch. Can you give me your thoughts when uh, Diddy comes to New York? Uh, he's seen walking the streets of New York with his son right before the feds. They were supposed to arrest him today, but they chose to do it last night. Well, yeah, because they probably felt like he was getting itchy. Mm. And he might have been trying something. I mean, he did what all of the good fellas do when they know that they get ready to go to jail. They come home. They have dinner with everybody. They go to their favorite places. They, You know? Yeah. That last good time. There's a song that goes around, Jack. I believe it's called... Um... 1,000 bottles of baby oil on the wall. Take one down and passing it around. What, what, when you hear this indictment being unsealed and to hear the depravity of the. Should I, you know what? I'm going to say it again because there might be some people who have never been through here to the blue couch. Um, these niggas is wild. <laughs> they procure bitches to do <sighs> damage and wild shit. Like, I, it was something like that I said. Why don't nobody ever want to believe me? Oh. Without Jamil question. Jamal said it himself. Jaguar sat on the couch and said he put the boots to that girl and y'all said she was a liar and then we seen it and then y'all just said I want my perp walk. That's all I want. The only thing that's going to make any of this hoopla worth it is if he does a perp walk, if he gets put into a car, if he is treated like the criminal that he is on camera. See, they got all of these images leading up to the 
secret arrest of him having a good time and doing all of that. But when is he going to start having a bad time? So, for the victims. I've never had a good time when I go to lock up. It's always annoying. You know, every time I've been arrested for something that I didn't do, and yet nobody said, <gasps> but did he get arrested finally and, and, and get the book ready to be thrown at his very, very, very dancing feet? They're going to be his feet with that law book. That's how many crimes he's done, and everyone's so surprised. You know how weird that is for me? That is. That is. Y'all watch me get arrested there just for Virginia bringing Gene Deal to Dallas. Man. I think they wanted to really silence some things that you had to say. And, you know, we can talk about that all day later. Um, what I love to do, Jack, Yay. is let, let's, start, let's start with the right now of what we know and let's work backwards. I'm uh, on my perp walk. He offered fifty million dollars, fifty million dollars to be freed. The judge right now, because again, this is breaking news. The judge mm -hmm. right now is is uh, she went back to her chambers to consider, but the uh, the federal, the government says that is not enough no money. Bond. No, no bond. bond. Just like they did to me when they first started using my ex husband to use our custody with our son Sam, the second. I got no bond. I got no bond for nonviolent crimes. He, he doesn't really deserve any bond at all. But if he's going to have bond, I mean, let's start with no passport. Let's start with no private planes. Let's start, let's start with a black and white or whatever the equivalent of a black and white is following him everywhere he goes, watching everything like he's been doing to people for so many years. Right. Uh, it's time for the diddler to become uncomfortable. Yeah, it's too Damian, comfortable. Damian Williams, the U.S. attorney, um, stated that he has not he does he does not want to use the word cooperative. Released on bond for seventy five billion. Oh, so seventy five million? One seventy five? Or is it one seventy five? Which is it? Seventy five or one seventy five? They're releasing him for. I'm looking up. They just said he's released on bond. So yeah, he got bond. Ooh. I want an ankle monitor. I want his passport surrendered, and I want a perp walk. He's out on seventy five million. Breaking Did, news. Then he's back in the world. Or at least back in his match. No. 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 Did he's back on the streets. I think I like that. Where's the ankle monitor? I want my perp walk. If, if Irv Gotti can run around Demanding sloppy toppy. I think at this point, I deserve what I ask. I want my perp walk. Justice for Pac, you better believe it. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you, Jag, Um, and we're going to break this whole thing down. We're going to just keep kind of going through this thing. But let me ask you, in your mind, does this... Now, when you look back on the apology, when he was like, man, I was effed up, what does that do for... Like, what, what are your thoughts on that apology now? That apology lets all of his victims who haven't come forward yet know nothing's going to happen to me. Nothing's going to happen. I'm going to say these words. I'm going to kick some money around. And you're going to stay hurt. And I'm going to stay rich. That's what that meant. Where that going? Put a little, pour, pour some sugar on me. Can, can I get your take, Jack, on 1,000 bottles of baby oil seized? 1,000 bottles? Like, in your mind, 
from what you've seen in your life. All I'll say is, is before you start singing that song and playing your games, make sure you comb through it for all the pubic hair left behind. Oh, I meant what I said. I would have went in there with a hazmat suit. Those are some brave officers. Now, they could have got encephalitis just from sitting on the couch. Now, That's why I, I don't know why they acting like they was in there looking for anything other than physical tape. Because there was so much, there were so many DNA samples in that house. They couldn't, they could have probably created a whole new race. Damn. <laughs> Let me ask you, um, when it comes to the hotels, he said that or in the indictment, they said that there was people that were hired to clean up after the free call. So this is not even the mate, the people that's hired by the hotel. These are special. No, people they had to bring in outside clean. No, this is too. This is industrial level foolishness. We talking about? It's Breaking Bad level. Imagine, imagine what happened. Now you heard the video. You heard the footage with the him and the meat. Mm. Now, we also know that T.D. Jakes is allegedly also a power bottom. And he's a much older man. And they say he's very enthusiastic in his endeavors. What happens when he pops something loose? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's funny because they're, they're mentioning sex workers, but they're mentioning they're not mentioning women. They're mentioning men as sex workers. Uh, yeah. Like, like is, is that is that a thing where, like, there's a website? Or what? It's just wild to hear, like, you mentioned the you normal... you never heard of Grindr? I personally have not. That is what... <laughs> Why don't nobody ever talk about the fact that TD Cakes has an account allegedly on Grindr? Oh, wow. Grindr is a sex app. It's been around for about 15 years now. It's pretty much where you could put a GPS in an asshole. So you go onto the app and it uses the location. And it routes you to the account of the man closest to you and then y'all see him and you decide if you're going to do it at the 7-Eleven or do it at the gay club in the bathroom. Mm. It's a hookup site for promiscuous gay men. Mm. Wow. The grinder. Jeez. Why would, why would a bishop have a ghost account? Grinder. Hey, hey. Yeah, let me ask you, uh, also in the 14 page uh indictment grinding <laughs> oh not not clips not clips grinding <laughs> oh baby not malice, <laughs> not malice. Oh. she let away oh. i did he bop that's what Cameron uh, says yeah we're about to we're about to go through all the lyrics again um I, I, there was an interview i was watching with uh, or a video i was watching with Jay-Z and Diddy from back in you know i guess early 2000s we're gonna go back and watch through all of this because I think we need to because everything was done in your face. Yeah. They played in all of our faces. All of this stuff was done right in everyone's face. So I want you to imagine how insane it is for the victims who know this is going on, know that the authorities are being paid off, know that no one's going to believe them, and you still gotta find a way to survive. Jack, I, I want you to um Speak to Diddy right now. What so, I got cause... to say to a side of my like him. Only thing I would say to him is go to jail, go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. But they didn't gave him money. Seventy five million. He done rolled the dice and got free. Got all the free parking money. Would, without even with even though you're not getting your perp walk, would you like cameras? In, I know they don't put cameras in federal court. Would you like to watch this thing unfold? Oh, I think they're going to make an exception. Oof. Diddy just became the new OJ. America <sighs> can't afford to turn this bag down. Oh. I 
feel it. I feel a Nancy Grace greatest hits coming up. Sean P. Combs is a bad guy. She called him Sean P. Combs. She actually thought that P. Diddy was his legal name. Uh, he, he Sean changed? P. Combs is a bad guy. You know, he recently changed. You ain't kidding, Nancy. You ain't kidding. He recently changed his name to Brother Love, to Love. Do you think that was a, there was a reason behind him changing his name? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's the only lie that would work left. <laughs> he done lied about everything else. I guess, you know. Like, maybe all these things happened when he was in his Diddy phase and before. Now the love phase, he's on to something now else. You're, now you're saying that this man is suffering from personal, a multiple personality disorder. If that's yeah. the case, then we got four different predators and they all need to get booked. Yeah, I think he might look for the uh, for uh, the assist. From Buff Daddy to Puffy to Diddy uh, now to love. Love. Oh, let's not forget P P Diddy. P Diddy. Yeah, we got we got five different predators. If we're judging him by the different phases of his depravity, then he needs to be rearrested for the other four person. <laughs> oh, now, now they, they they stated that these freak offs lasted for days. Can, yeah. can your can your mind imagine going into hour number seventy two? And you're still getting like I'm still in the bed with this with a with a sex worker. I'm still if being watched in the corner. You got, if you if you remembered, if you remembered, yeah. guys, Storm Monroe was live today with a young woman. I think y'all need to reach out to. She's a subscriber. Up, uh, she's a subscriber, but she's also a, a content creator here on YouTube. She has over fifty k subscribers. Her name is Love Jones. Today, Love Jones sat with Storm Monroe, and she talked about being with the Combs brothers last summer in a sprinter, and she don't remember where they took her. Okay. The boys. Right. And Apparently, and, and King one of the the Deleon or something. Right. And she said it was more than Deleon. Her body tingled all over and she's I I I just put prayer hands in. I think we. I think y'all need to reach out to Love Jones. Yeah, and also the lady um, who was on that yacht that um, she said the son. It was Diddy's yacht, but she was only hired as a bartender, and there was something spiked in her. Be accused too. You'd be surprised how many of those party workers get assaulted and don't. Else telling them what we. Have been drinking on the them. Here, you know what? For your pain and suffering, and they cut them a check for 10, 20K, and then they sign the NDA, and then that's all that. Um, will you go back and. Here comes this Diddy! Thing? Is Diddy coming out? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. I want my purple. Baby, where's the camera? Let's document this for posterity. I want to see him look as humiliated as he should look out. after what he, he put those boys through. Well, they're not going to make him perfect. I guess for $75 million, you could buy a safe exit. Yeah, they, they might grant you that. He's basically paying for the case for him. I want the world to know. Nah, -uh, not the Diddy lubricant. I can't. Oh, no. Take, take that. Take that. <laughs> take that. So, I wonder if that's me... what his cellmate's going to say. 
Let me ask you, uh, should we yeah, go they back and... sure he ain't had to go to lock up. Because if he had to go to lock up, that his ass. it would have... His no, whole ass. No. All Diddy and... All di with all due Diddy. Yeah, mm. Diddy reign. Diddy reign. With all Diddy respect. Should we go back, Jack, and watch... Uh, Carisha's interview with Diddy because uh, a lot was said in that interview about peeing on her and doing it for hours and he can't stop and he won't stop and take that. Um, a lot was said. Should we go back and rewatch the interview with what's going on now? I mean, I think you can, but I think she should watch it. <laughs> I think she should watch that every day until she falls on her knees and prays for prayer. <laughs> Lord, please teach me how to pray so I can save my soul. He ain't beat you. He just, he just peed on you all the time. He treats you like a toilet. <laughs> but he respected you enough not to hit you, please. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we can watch it. it. They also stated that uh, after these free calls, and again, this is all in the indictment, so y'all can go read it or, you know, go find it and read it, uh, that IV fluids were needed after these free calls. Like, to get a needle have, in. How many times have y'all heard me say, what kind of bitch needs an IV in a bedroom? <sighs> how many times have y'all heard me say that? Come on. <laughs> Concierge medicine is what's preferred. You call up a doctor that doesn't want to play by the They get to charge three times as much and it's twice as fast. No fix so fast. He called a concierge doctor. All yeah. the books. But usually they leave behind complimentary saline, hydrate, and flux system. Yeah. needs to go like this <laughs> to rehydrate their body. The day they've done the night before. Yeah, one thing that's, that is interesting is that um, one thing that's interesting is that they stated, uh, you know, no no condoms were found. Like they didn't they didn't rack up any condoms or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that's horrible. If you're dancing with the devil willingly, the last thing you should be. What good are you unless they to mark their territory and see you in the world? Ask Curtis. No, that was. Yeah, he, did, he, did he bop? He did, he bopped until he dropped. God damn. God damn. Hi, Daphne. What? I can't wait for her subpoena to come in, boy. She gonna have some shit to say. And again, I, I know we're just rehashing all these things, but when you see that there was a uh, uh, recordings that, the, you know, they have all these recordings, uh, most of them probably unknown to the victims. What are your thoughts when so, all, the... all of them unknown to the victims? <laughs> Even though it should have been known. Yeah, with, with, without question. Without question. This is the real world. This is the world. Hello, devil seance. Katy Perry running around looking like a hermaphrodite. <laughs> Lying around with devil well, wings. Jack, you know, you've said a lot in our interviews. Um, do you feel like the federal government may go back and watch some of the things you said, even in our interviews, just to try to? They're Fine already watching. Home, no pun intended. They're already oh, yeah, watching. Sure. They've been watching. I would know. I've been told. 
I ain't going to be no witness unless I choose to be. That's really why I hate me. I know the law too good. I know what they're afraid to tell the truth about, and they know I'm not afraid to tell it. Facts. I don't know. We're going to take a moment. Problem. That's the right. problem. They're never going to admit that the reason why Sean Carter has been able to do all that he's done is because they gave him permission to do it. And everybody knew it. Mm -hmm. Pause right there. Pause right there, Dad. We're gonna we're, we're gonna take a uh, what they call a recess in court, and we're gonna come right back. We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop right there. Take a recess. Come right back. Shout out to Street Stars, nigga. Moon. Hey.